What up, what up, what up? Your boy Savage, aka Sev Cisnettles. You tuning in the Sev Lokes Hotels 2.0. Like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. Let's get to the politic. Big shout out to everybody showing the channel love. Appreciate the love and support. Um, before I start this video, let me make this clear. I'm not promoting gang life, gang culture, just telling a testimony, giving life experiences, shining some light on the Denver Metro. So with that being said, let's go to the comment section, man. Um, this video has been recommended by multiple people in the Denver Metro. So being a channel that gives insight about Denver politics and the neighborhoods out here, um, you get a lot of traffic from... You know, a lot of people in the Denver Metro that have history in the Denver Metro. And um, sometimes when you're talking about organizations and, uh, you know, neighborhoods, sometimes people want you to shine light on, you know, um, neighborhoods that you might not hear about in the Denver Metro. Um, because to be honest, in the politic world, there's organizations that are always going to get the shine when it comes to gang banging in any neighbor in any state um you're always going to hear about bigger organizations like the crips the bloods north daniel sudaniel so a lot of times to be honest smaller neighborhoods get overlooked um and uh you know a lot of them foods that are from organization um, from neighborhoods like that um tend to Feel like they they don't have a real voice, so I try to be a voice from for smaller neighborhoods and you know um, hoods that you may not hear about. Um, there's a handful in Denver, you know. There's a lot of um, neighborhoods that have history of putting in work, have history of really getting down, and they got a good rep, but they people don't tend to know about these neighborhoods because you got Bloods, Crips, North Daniels, Sudaniels, nor like the bigger neighborhoods out here g's and and you know the bigger ones those are the ones that are going to get the shine and then the smaller neighborhoods you know they feel like they're left out um so this neighborhood it's been asked by multiple people i've been i had probably like five people already recommended recommend this video and it's of the villains from glowville now one big reason why i hesitated to actually jump on this video is because i'm gonna be real with you when i was growing up it was all about damus and keyways it was all about bloods and crips i really didn't put too much energy into like other neighborhoods if you wasn't from the hood you was no good i really didn't try to kick with you i was not trying to make money with you so i focused in on what was in front of me what was going down with um with what we had going on nothing else um not saying I never heard good things about these these neighborhoods, um, because to be honest, Villains was one of them neighborhoods that if you're in the Denver Metro and you know about the politics out here, Villains was one of them neighborhoods that had a good name because they were all honor. There were a lot of them fools that were honorable, and there was a lot of them fools that put in work for Glowville. They made a name amongst the sea of bigger gangs but these fools had history they had history to a point they made glowville relevant they made glowville a smaller sector in the denver metro outside of the east side a smaller neighborhood they made it relevant because if you know you know um now i'm a little younger but i got og cousins um that talk about these dudes in a good light um, and I remember the times that I interacted with villains was one time at Dolly's Manyekas and they came over there, bro. And they were, I'm telling you like this, they were breaded up. A lot of them fools grinded. A lot of fools, a lot of them fools had the aspect to get money. Um, and then you would hear about them fools beefing with some of the Odies and actually getting the best of some of the Odies. One time I was in the Denver County. And um, this fool from Glowville, big old swole fool, bro. I'm talking about he had shoulders. Boom. I think his name maybe was Cisco, but a couple of the Odies tried to get at him, and he knocked him. Boom, boom. He knocked him because that was like their rivals. Like 
I believe that the, the villains and the chickies have more of a relations because they had some um, conflicts with the Odies. You know, Odies being a bigger neighborhood in the east side. And the villains, pretty much, they were battle prone when it came to that. Because, you know, when gangbanging hit, the Odies got the numbers in the east side, especially if you were Mexican. Um, they got a big aspect of numbers. So they were a bigger gang in the east side. Um, but the villains... For them being a smaller hood in the Denver Metro and being from a smaller sector of the Denver Metro, them fools were hella battle prone, bro. Um, and, you know, like I say, man, um, big shout out to all them fools. Big shout out to, you know what I'm saying, um, the villains holding out, holding down Glowville because if it wasn't, like I said, for the villains, I wouldn't even known anything really about Glowville. I went over there a couple times in my life. I went over there to barbecue and they have a park in Glowville. And I remember a couple times like going over there, they would be in the park, bro, barbecuing and having their family aspect. I think it's more of a, a family aspect than anything. Um, but big shout out to all them fools that represent Glowville. Um, like I said, Hopefully I answered a couple different questions, but like that's that's one of the reasons why I hesitated because um, I really didn't have a lot of history, like bad history. Um, and like I said, I ran into handfuls of villains, but um, I really didn't run into like too many. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. But my older cousins, they all talked about the villains being, you know what I'm saying? One of them neighborhoods that held it down for Glowville. And um, shout out to them fools, most deaf. Um, you know what it is. To the next one. Mall high salute to the riders. Let's go.